Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Lovelocks, and welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. Man, I went back to watch uh, one of my uh, older videos, the one where Kay kind of gives us whole backstory, and I've forgotten so much about this game since uh, I took that long break. Um, you might want to go back and watch that again if you've forgotten as much as I have, because uh, I thought we knew nothing about Kay, but we actually know a ton about him. Um, from what I could see, it looks like he actually grew up in this facility, and his father was... Um, was doing some experiments here, working on some kind of project, and it, we kind of look, we kind of got a a view of his father and his kind of like adopted mother, and it seemed like uh, his mother might be the woman that gets killed at the beginning of of the game, um, and also his father kind of looked like Zero Senior just based on what he was wearing. We didn't really get a good look at his face though, either of their faces actually, um, and he talked about like wanting to help his father with the project. His mother said that uh, she would have to like sacrifice herself for his plan for his father's plan. Um, we also learned that Dio over there in the bottom right, he actually admitted to killing the old woman because he had blood on his um, on his um, bracelet, and we sprayed like some luminol on it or something to see it. So I totally forgotten about all that stuff. Um, so I guess we do know who Kay is, like, kind of. We don't really know who's under the mask, but... I mean, th there's also, like, talk that his father was maybe able to make robots, so it's possible he's a robot. Also, there might be a connection between Kay's father and Junpei and the mother and June. And we saw that Tenmyoji is looking for June. So I don't know, there might be, there's there's something there. I'm not sure quite what it is yet, but I, th I feel like there's, Tenmyoji could be Junpei, but could be like a relative. I don't know, all that stuff is, is everything is actually quite fuzzy. We, we have got a lot of information, we've got a lot of pieces, but the puzzle hasn't been put together yet, which is really cool. We have a lot more to look forward to, but yeah. Go back and watch that episode if you guys want to recap because uh, we knew a lot of stuff that I had totally forgotten. And it looked like that would have been... I can't remember where it was on the flow. Maybe here or something? It seemed like that could have been um, the path... Or maybe here. Maybe it was here. It seemed like this could have, that could have been the path that would have led to uh, Kay's ending. Because it kind of was similar to this path here where we got Clover's ending. He was kind of like just telling us all about him. So... Um, when we go back to there, whichever path that was, it probably would have been the last one that we did. So maybe it was over here. I can't, I can't remember, uh, what order we did these in. How can Fi and K be saved? Anyhow, let's return to this path. And, um, I, if there's something that I've forgotten, feel free to fill me in the comment section. Just please don't spoil anything that's going to happen in the future. Uh, and you guys have been really great uh, not to not do that, so I appreciate it. Oh, I also went back and watched a recap of 999 as well. Tons of stuff I have forgotten about that too. Like June and June, June and Santa were the architects of the second Nonary game, right? And it was it was to bring June back to life because she had she had burned to death in uh, the first one. Um, and uh, also as a result of our actions, we saved all of the children, I believe, from the first nonary game which means that some of the people in this game could be the children from the first one brought back for this one because we didn't see all of them um we only saw a few of them you know like um like clover and snake um so there's that as well to to consider and also alice we only really saw who we assumed to be alice at the end uh catching a ride um at the end of 999 and then there were some I remember there was mention of the uh, the Egyptian woman, and we saw pictures of her, I remember, during 999, but she looked a little bit different from the Alice that we know. Um, and the other thing was that um, uh, Ace, the head of the pharmaceuticals company, he had found, like, the coffin or whatever that uh, that Alice was supposed to be in, or all ice, and he all he found was that plant that he was able to make the Soparol B out of. So he was the, the creator of Soparol B that that like anesthetic 
Lots of stuff that I forgot about, guys, and I'll I'll try to I'll try to hit back on that stuff as we go through uh, the rest of this. Sorry for my rant. I just thought I'd get that out there as a recap. Um, and I'm sure there's even th a lot of things I missed in the recap. And I appreciate those of you that are helping me uh, to remember all the stuff that I've forgotten because it's important to put all this stuff together for the end. And it's also just fun to speculate. Okay, let's go. Whoa! What are you guys doing here? We ought to be asking you the same thing. How do you get here? Sigma, hand me the map. So we had just gotten out of the garden. Map. Oh, right. I dug the map out of my pocket and spread it out in front of us. You three came in through the blue door, right? Also, I should say I'm, I'm not feeling the greatest, so there might be like some little breaks for me to clear my throat and things like that. Yeah. And which room did you go into? This fan-shaped one. It's called the Bee Garden. Oh, and then, so on the other side must have been the A garden. And that's, maybe that's what we had seen before? B garden? It's this big dome with a bunch of plants in it. Look, you can go see it for yourself later, all right? What about you guys? Well, after we went through the green door, we ended up in the treatment center. Okay. Hmm. And then we met up. Right there. Or right here. So, what's the treatment center? It sounds a lot like the infirmary. You want to have a look? We can go back to any of the rooms we've already visited. Of course we've already seen this. Oh yeah, and so the reason so? why I figured um, this is where Kay grew up, or a facility that looked very similar to that, is we saw, um, we saw like a scene of... Uh, a table that looked like the one in the lounge with the same kind of stools and also we actually saw the the place where like the lab where we had done all that stuff with the seeds and the dna we saw like a scene with those um tanks in the back so uh, i'm assuming i mean just i just guess that they're trying to they're trying to figure out a cure for this plague um maybe maybe this whole thing is to try to stop the plague from happening, the outbreak. I, I I don't know. There's just gonna be there's definitely gonna be some funky explanation as to why this is going on that I will not be able to predict. <laughs> sure, let's have a look. After a few moments of brisk walking, we found ourselves in the treatment center. See, so they solved all the puzzles also. What are those? They're why this is called a treatment center. Why does Fi always seem like she's uh, confronting us with her tone? Maybe it's just me. Those pods can cure a number of illnesses and even repair certain injuries. Whoa, that's nuts. How about you climb in one of them, Dio? Why? Well, maybe it can fix whatever's wrong with your brain. Ouch! Alice, all ice ain't wrong. Cold. Hey, you want to start something, lady? Calm down now, son. You don't cool off a bit and I'll have to throw you in one of these pods here. Huh? Why? Weren't you paying attention? They have a cold sleep function. I figured that ought to cool your head up. Wait, did you say cold sleep? That's where they freeze you, right? And you can uh, stay that way for a really long time? Yeah. According to some records we found in here, until about eight hours ago, there were three frozen people in these pods. Three people? Who? You mean three of us were? We don't know. If, like, there was a big time jump into the future, it would have to be the characters that we know. It would have to be Clover, it would have to be probably Alice. But the third one, I'm not sure. All we found was what was in the logs for the pods. The logs for the pods? How long were they here? No idea. Part of the logs were erased. All that's left is when the cold sleep function turned off. It records them thawing out, getting up, and that's it. Then they could be anyone. Well, anyone but you. 
What? Why not Alice? Because you don't need a device like this to freeze Alice. Am I wrong? Huh? What are you talking about? You don't need to play dumb. The water in your body isn't normal water. It's something called Ice-9. Whoa! How? Temioji? It freezes at 96.8 degrees. That means all you have to do to put yourself in cold sleep is drop your body temperature below 96.8. No fancy machine needed. How does he know that? Where on earth did you hear that? From Clover. Oh. Clover? When we were exploring the lounge during the first round. I see. <laughs> uh oh. What's so funny? Oh man, you fell for that one hook, line, and sinker, didn't you? Clover was messing with you. That is, if she even said anything to you at all. It was a lie. A joke? A joke? No, there's no way it was a joke. I'm sure about it. Your body is made of Ice-9. Why would he be so sure? Well, you're mistaken. It's a ridiculous misunderstanding. An urban legend. With seemingly no other prompting. <laughs> it's so funny they decided to, to say that now. Considering there's, especially in 999, all, there's all kinds of crazy stuff that just went off without any kind of prompting. Alice launched into a lengthy explanation. It went something like this. So maybe this is Alice's ending. At some point in the past, someone found a frozen mummified Egyptian queen. What was curious about this mummy, however, was that it remained frozen at room temperature. People began to refer to her as All Ice, which eventually became simply Alice. Rumors that her body was made of Ice-9 began to circulate, and her bizarre refusal to thaw only compounded them. They say that the mummy finally thawed, and when it did, it began to move. And ever since then, I've had people say they thought I was her. I mean, really? How could anyone believe something so ridiculous? The existence of this mysterious Alice and of this ice that doesn't melt are just urban legends. But why would people make that mistake about you in particular? It can't just be because your name's Alice. Oh, the other thing was that Dio was like ordered to kill the old lady. Maybe as part of like the plan that Zero and uh, the old lady had, had concocted, I don't know. There are tons of Alice's. Is it because of your face and how you look? So I'm going to guess that Dio might be the third one that was frozen. I don't know. Well, it is true that I am both beautiful and elegant. Can I really be blamed if people think I'm an Egyptian queen? We got the Egyptian style, too. I don't think that's the sure that's how though. all Egyptians dressed back in the day. Someone who made that mistake said something to me once. They claimed they'd seen me before. Of course, I immediately pressed the issue. Do you mean the mummy, Alice? I said. When? Where? Of course, they were at a loss. In fact, I began to feel a little sorry for them. So I told them something. If you're so convinced, then maybe I am actually Alice. But maybe I've lost my memory and can't remember who I am. And so on and so on. Yeah, dot, I'm still dot, not dot, sure right. why Clover would tell you something like that, though. Even if she was just messing with you, it seems a little out of left field. You really think she put that much thought into it? She was probably just screwing with him, and it was the first thing that came to mind. Maybe she wanted to see if she could get him to believe something completely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I could see her doing something like that. Manipulative. Well, I think that's enough idle gossip for now. So there wasn't a big long explanation. The cold sleep business is interesting, but I don't think it's terribly useful. We should go see if the other team has returned to the warehouse yet. Seemed to be keen on doing it before. Not Alice, though. Wasn't she, wasn't she dead when we were going to do this before? Can't remember. At Alice's request, we made our way out of the treatment center. There's so much to keep track of. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I need to take... I need to not only take, like, um, puzzle notes. I should just be taking general story notes, because it's... Getting complicated, everybody.
This is... It looks like another warehouse. I forgot about the if the uh, Ninth Lion ate the sun as well. I really got to go back to see if we had figured out what that um, that actually said. We got that Lion ate the sun. Okay. It looks like the same warehouse. Hey, look. Three more doors. They're all glowing white. You think? I might need to skip this section. It might be the same as. It might be the next set of chromatic. Maybe I should skip ahead. I'd bet on it. Oh. Okay. Look, they've got the same boxes next to them as the other doors. Hmm. I guess this is all new. So the next set of doors are. white? They haven't all been the same color before. Uh, we definitely need to tell the others about this. Right. Let's head back to floor eight. Gives us some time to think. I got, I got nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the second to relax a little bit. Oh, and adjust my goodness. mic. Kay looks upset. You finally huh. returned. I was beginning to get anxious. Did something happen? Yes. It's Quark, you see. He... What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly. We were just searching our room. So we're gonna put him in the pod. What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. Clover is looking after him. But his condition could change at any moment. You should go. Oh no. Kamiochi shoved Kay aside and leapt through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks, then ran off after him. Quark, come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Kamioji grabbed Quark's shoulders and began to shake him desperately. It was Clover who stopped him. Hey, what are you doing? He's sick, and we don't even know what's wrong with him. What if you make him worse? <sighs> then what am I supposed to do? So we haven't determined what's wrong with him yet. I have to save him. Save? That seems a little extreme. Maybe he just has anemia or something. No, that's not it. I know him better than any of you. He doesn't have anemia. He's never just collapsed before. Well, then call an ambulance and stop freaking out about it. You son of a bitch. This yeah. is serious. Ten. Dio, honestly. The infirmary seems pretty well equipped. There are plenty of diagnostic tools, but without a doctor, there's not going to be much we can do with them. Luna? Oh, right. Well, we've got Luna. Luna? Uh, that's right. I remember Dio saying something. You have a medical license, don't you? Wait, really? Is that true, Luna? Um, well, yes, but... You have to take a look at him, then. Please. Quark needs your help. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. Okay, I feel like we've seen this before. Yeah. No, nothing like medicine. Okay, so now he's asking, has anyone seen any medicine? I mean, it was just like a park. We're talking about the garden. Lots of vegetation and stuff, but no medicine. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? We visited the laboratory. There were a number of chemicals and concoctions there. Laboratory. Some of which were medicine, but nothing like what we're searching for, I'm afraid. Did Dio go with him? 
Oh god. Then he's... He's going to... Oh god, no. Look, just to be sure, the three of you went to the treatment center, right? And you're sure it wasn't there? No, there was nothing even remotely like it. You went there too, didn't you? The only thing in the treatment center are those treatment pods. Treatment pods? That's it! If we put Quark in one of those pods... For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Quark! Uh -oh. oh, thank God. You're awake! Get away from me! Okay, we've seen this before, too. Intense. Knocked him out. Oh, and here we go. She also freaked out, of course. And we're looking for her. No one here, huh? Damn, where did she go? Alice uh, ran away. Complaining wasn't going to help anything. I needed to go look somewhere else. So we sedated Quark, and then Alice came in, uh, also suffering from the ill effects of uh, Ice Knight. I mean, Radical Six. I mean, Radical Ice 69. Six is nine upside down, by the way. Radical Nine. Hmm. So we're gonna find her. Shoot. Okay, I need, I'm gonna try skipping. Oh, we can't, because this is new. Shoot. Nothing in the treatment center either. We need to find her quick, or she's gonna do something bad. If we hadn't stopped Quark. I need to hurry. I headed to the garden next. Hmm, this feels different. Maybe that's back garden, the other one's uh, front garden, F garden. Maybe it's not A garden. I, s I do remember finding a bomb in one of the gardens, though. I'd only gone a few steps from the walkway through the grass when I stopped short. Okay. Alice! Oh, there you are. This feels different. Good. I'm glad you showed up. Huh? I just got here a minute ago. She's not dead. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to carry her to the infirmary. Then she's, uh, alive? Yeah. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. So she's just unconscious. Looks like it. What about the scalpel? Doesn't look like she has it. Figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Hmm. Anyway, we need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here. Right. Alice is lighter than I'd expected, and Fi and I have managed to set off toward the infirmary. At a brisk trot. Trotting? Doing like a horse trot together? All right, please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. Okay, so confirmed. I'm not sure if we ever actually confirmed this. She has also been infected with Radical Six. Because she killed herself, right? On our way back, Phi had gone off to retrieve the rest of the participants. Seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Oh no, no! What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. There's a special antiviral treatment. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? 
Immunogoblin? It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. Those antibodies are the basis for Excelivir. Wait, what about those pods in the treatment center? So if one of us have antibodies, we might be able to, to create uh, a cure that can cure both of them. Because we only have a cure for one. Dio has it, obviously. Right. Sticking one of those. I think I missed that last section. I thought of that too. So I went and took a closer look at them. Unfortunately... They can't cure it. Correct. They can suppress the symptoms for a while, but they can't kill the virus itself. The only way we can help Alice and Quark is if we can find some Excelivir. But the pods will keep them from getting any worse, right? Yes. Well, then what are we waiting for? One of you, grab Alice. We're going to the treatment center. As he spoke, Temioji moved over to Quark and lifted his small, unconscious body off the bed. Quark shifted slightly as Temioji moved him, and something fell out of his pocket with a soft clink. He's got it? Wait. I bent down slowly and picked it up. He has it. Oh, because he went... He ended up going to the lab? Is this medicine? What? Well, what is it? Hold on. There's a name on the label here. Axel Excelov. Excelivir! You found it, Sigma! That's the one thing that can cure Radical Six. Uh... Wait, this is the ending song. Why did Quark have it? Perhaps he found it earlier. Earlier when? We explored the laboratory. It was on the other side of the red door. There you go. I happened to notice Quark putting something in his pocket. He hid it. Whether or not that was his intention is unclear. I did not have the opportunity to ask, as he collapsed immediately afterwards. It didn't feel appropriate to go digging around in his pockets for it after that. And to be honest, it had also slipped my mind. We were rather preoccupied with getting him to the infirmary as quickly as possible. Who cares about the details? We have it. Hurry up and give it to him, Luna. Hey, hold on a minute. What about Alice? Does it really matter if she goes first or not? Um... I'm sorry, but I don't think we can do that. What? There's only enough here for one person. The only way we have to administer this is with the injection gun. And the way it functions, it uses a whole bottle each time you pull the trigger. In other words, we can't split the dose in two or something. Right. Well, we all stood stunned, Fi moved. Stepping over to Quark, she quickly ran her hands through his clothes, then stepped back with a frown and a small shake of her head. Nothing. That one bottle was it. Do you think there might be some more back in the laboratory? No. Unfortunately not. No. Oh god. Just enough medicine for one dose. Only one person can be saved. Who should we give it to? Do we get to choose? Or Quark. What the hell is this? There's no way we're only going to save one of them. And what are we going to do? Do I have to spell it out? We're going to save them both. How? That's, um... I needed to calm down. Think. There had to be some way to save both of them. It was there. I knew it. Ig equals immunoglobulin. Do so we have. what immunoglobulin is? We have this, this key. There was a lock there, and we just unlocked it. It's another name for antibodies. Some people have antibodies that can fight off radical six. Ig. Oh, right. Ig replicator. Oh man, I totally forgot. Replicator makes it sound like it makes copies of stuff. I totally forgot about that. So it's like a copy machine. Yeah. Probably copies IG, or whatever that is. Any ideas? Who knows? 
Oh, that's cool. By the gallon? Basically. Why does she have to why do they have to repeat that part? <laughs> this game is goofy sometimes. That's it! I've got it. The IG replicator in the laboratory. It's an immunoglobin replication machine. Uh what? Oh, achievement. If I told you you had a nice antibody. You guys can't see that, but I just got an achievement! Yes! It can copy immunoglo immunoglobulin antibodies. Luna just said Accelivir is made from antibodies. That means we can make more Accelivir. Hold on a moment. They're going to be like, well, how the hell do you know that? You weren't in the lab. There is a strange device in the laboratory that says IG replicator on it. Damn right. Clover and I examined it thoroughly when we were in that room. Yeah, we never could figure out what it did, though. Exactly. My question is, how do you know about it, Sigma? I saw it. When I was in the laboratory. When was that? Uh. Probably when you were looking for Alice, right? No. Dia was wrong. I hadn't gone to the laboratory when I was looking for Alice. I didn't think I'd ever been to the laboratory. So how did I know about the IG replicator? If what he's saying is true, then we should be able to duplicate the Excelivir. That would mean we could cure Alice and Quark. Hmm. Let's go have a look then. The laboratory, right? Yeah. No time to waste. We all nodded. Wait. You can't leave them here all alone. Luna, do you think you could stay behind and look after them? Oh, of course. I'd be happy to. All right, then. Let's go. This is exciting. God, I love this game. It's just so... It, even though, like, we didn't personally make the discovery, it still feels like we did. It's just exciting. Although, I still think it would be cool if we had uh, some way, some more control over that. Like, oh yeah, remember in this path? But then, I really would have to take notes, like, copious notes. Because <laughs> I totally forgot that I didn't play this that section that long ago. It's complicated. Okay, so the lab's over here. I'm kind of getting a sense for where everything is now. I'm kind of paying attention more to the map. This is what I was talking about. We saw, if you go back to, uh, I think it's 27? So this is the lab, huh? I think it was 27. We see a picture of Kay standing in front of these, these, uh, I don't know what to call them, vats. Yes. Where's this IG replicator thing? Also, there was the, uh, the microscope as well. Right here. See? So this can copy the Accelivir? I think so. What are we waiting for? Just calm down, all right? Don't rush me. I carefully lowered the small vial of Accelivir into the slot on the side of the machine. An empty vial already protruded from the other side. Presumably, that was where the duplicated Excelivir would go. See that stuff in the back, too? I guess it's hooked up to that. But we don't know what that stuff does, either. Ready? When I push this button, it should... Skip it. Just press the damn thing. Right. And pressed. Click. Guess we don't get to see if it's using that equipment in the back. Did, did it work? Have a look. Looks like... Yeah, there's the same amount in both. It looks different on the top, though. I mean, it's just a reflection. The empty vial has something in it now. And the vial Sigma used remains as it was. It does not seem to have lost any of its contents. So, it worked? Would have been pretty bad if it hadn't. All right, let's get this thing back to the infirmary. Looks the same. I reached down and pulled both files from the machine, intending to slip them deftly into my pocket. Fuck. Dio! 
Ah, oh, shit. What happened? S sorry? Oh, my hand slipped. You dropped one of them? Yeah. Just one, though. What in the hell? It's not like it broke. you broken it, you idiot? Uh, come on. Uh, if I'd broken it, then we could have just made another copy. Before Temioji could reply, Fai spoke. Uh, guys? I was surprised to hear her voice coming from near my feet. I looked down to see her staring intently at something beneath the table. <gasps> There's something else! Oh! You see? It did break! Oh no. No, the vial's fine. See? She held it up in one hand, but it didn't, but didn't move her eyes. Then what the heck is going on down there? Take a look. She slid back from the table quickly and silently. The rest of us bent down to look. It's going to be... I think I know... I think I know who it is. Oh, no, it's a bomb! I thought it, I thought it might have been <laughs> Zero Senior's freaking dead body or something. Okay, that's number two. And we had... Uh, shit, 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 shit. What are going for? Go through my notes. Go through my notes. Bomb one. Bomb three is in the crew quarters. Okay, let's write this down. Bomb two. Is in the uh, lab. Oh, the other thing that Kay said is um, Kay was upset with his father and wanted to burn down the lab or destroy the lab. And he said he was going to do it by setting off the reactor. I bet you these bombs are planted by Kay because they, they even kind of look like his style of outfit, right? Like it's got that the gold and the red. Whoa. He just forgets planting really? them. Or he's pretending like he's forgotten. That makes two then. Guess K was right after all. So there were more bombs. So it would seem. Was this here when you guys came through the first time? No, it was not. Yeah, I didn't see anything and I looked real hard. Then somebody must have said it while we were looking for Alice. But we're presuming that someone said it afterwards, so. I can't remember who was, who was able to do it the first time. Who the hell would do that? We were all out looking for Alice. It could have been any of us. No, not any of us. Okay, I'm gonna write it down. This I should have written it down last time too. Okay, I'm gonna pay attention to this I time. was back in the infirmary. So it couldn't have been Temioji. Quark was still out, so I was keeping an eye on him. So we shouldn't consider you a suspect. Is that right? Yeah. Quark's off the list, too. But Tenmyoji, you have no proof that you spent the entire time in the infirmary, do you? What? You could have quietly made your way to the laboratory, planted the bomb. That's insane! So not Quark. Listen to yourself! There's no way in hell I'd have left Quark all by himself to go plant a goddamn bomb! Temyoji was still staring furiously at Kay when Clover spoke up. Hey, what's this thing? I turned in time to see her grab something from under the table. It looks like oh. a memory card. Where was it? Um, right under the bomb. Another memory card. It was down on the floor under the table. Last one, didn't it have like that recording on it? The, the Martian thing, the Mars preparation experiments or something. Could it have been put here by the same person who set the bomb? There was nothing like it here when we examined this room. Do you think they dropped it accidentally? Unless it was left here intentionally, yes. I imagine so. What do you think's on it? Let's take a look. Can I see it for a minute? Yeah, I guess so. I plucked the card out of her hand and looked around the room. Nothing. I already know where we can use it. We've done this before. Shoot. No dice. We'll need to plug it into something that can read memory cards, but I don't see anything here. So what do we do? Come on, if I knew I'd be doing it. 10 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes.
If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Wait, wouldn't, doesn't someone have to trigger these? Uh, guys, I think maybe we should get back to the top floor. Yeah, you're right. We've got what we came here for. Or did someone trigger it and I'd just forgotten? Um, what should we do about the, uh, bomb? Not much we can do except leave it here. I guess, I mean, it also kind of looks like Dio's color scheme too, though. Alice said it'd be dangerous to touch them. I don't know. True, but... Drop it. We can talk about the bombs later. Right now we need to take care of Alice and Quark. Right. So we'll go back to the infirmary, give them the Excelivir, then head to the Floor 8 warehouse. Right. Probably then we'll realize we could use the memory card on the screen there. I'm assuming. Oh, this is exciting. This ought to do it. It might take a little while, but they should recover. Her voice was quiet as she backed away from Alice and Quark. In her hand was the injection gun. She carefully removed the empty vial and placed it gently in the cabinet with the other one. While we were in the laboratory, Luna moved Quark to a crude cot. They both looked peaceful as they slept. The madness I'd seen on their faces before was completely gone. Are they really going to be all right? Yes. The analysis I did on the files confirmed that the duplicate was real Excelivir. The original was genuine too, of course. Now that they've been treated... It's only a matter of time before the virus is eliminated. I believe so, yes. Cool. I mean, how did they get oh, it in the man. first place, though? What a relief. I was really worried. Something we don't really know, unless I've forgotten. Clover grinned. Agreed. I gave her a reassuring pat on the back. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All right, everybody. We can be relieved later. Right now, we need to get to the AB rooms and fast. Damn. Don't even have time to catch our breath. Come on, let's go. The Flory Warehouse is waiting. After all that, I don't even remember. It was Alice and... Are we against Alice? And Luna, right? Luna, I think Luna's on our side and we're against Alice. It's been a few days. Huh? Where's Tamioji? Oh, he stayed back in the infirmary. But what? Why? Well, when we were all heading out, I noticed he wasn't doing anything. So I asked him if he was coming with us. Okay. And this is what I got. <sighs> I'm still worried about Quark and Alice. I think I'll stick around and make sure they're okay. I see. That means that Fi's only opponent will be Dio. One on one, huh? Ugh. That's cool. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> look at this. Look at the look at Dio's face. What an asshole. I plan to choose Ally. You know why? Because I've only got one BP. Exactly. If you chose Ally and I betrayed you, your BP would drop below zero and. Well, we know what happens then. I want to win, but I'm not that desperate. You see what I'm saying, right? Tenmyoji and Dio are a pair. Tenmyoji only had one BP left. Since Dio said he's going to pick an ally, Fi can't really pick anything else. If she does, Tenmyoji will... Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. <sighs> Kay and I are going to be going one-on-one -on -one too, right? Since Quark's still sleeping. That is correct. I'm much better. I could do about these ones. How many BP do you guys have? I've got six. As do I. This will be a tough one then. If one of them can get the other to ally and then betray that person, the betrayer will have nine points. So they're both going to betray. Look, Kay, I know you don't really have any reason to trust me, but. I know. You would like us both to vote ally, yes? Yeah, 
takes them both closer to getting out. One more uh, ally. I agree. Make it. If we were to both betray, then we would gain no points. We would lose nothing either, but that's hardly relevant. If both of us cooperate, then we will both gain two points, which is much more beneficial. Right. Okay, good. You're really gonna do it, right? Yes. Promise? Promise. One minute. I think Remains. we're against Alice, Until so she's gonna ally. Polling closes. I don't remember what her number is, though. Shit, this is bad. We need to move now. Indeed. Shall we? DOK, Fi, and Clover all took off immediately, heading into different AB rooms. Counting from the left, Dio went into room 3, K went into room 4, and Fi and Clover went into rooms 5 and 6, respectively. That left Luna and myself. What do you think about taking the one on the far left? Sounds good. With that settled, we headed into the AB room number 1. And I think I'll wrap up this episode here, and we'll decide what we're going to do on the next one. Thank you so much for joining me for another awesome episode of Virtual Last Reward. I love it. And I'm looking forward to finding out what's going to happen next and what's on that memory card, too. I think it's a different color from the one we got before, but uh, we'll see. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now, and I love you all.